Sagittarius. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Knight of Swords. Saggies, I feel like it's a time to take action. The guy on this card is inspired. A raven flies ahead of him, guiding him. He is bolting towards his motorcycle as it's time to move. I would just say trust yourself and your instincts at this time. The sky is cloudy on this card, so your actions may not be clear to others, but don't let them sway you from your gut feelings here. Your obstacle is represented by the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like things are going to manifest in your life quite quickly, maybe quicker than you expected, and your obstacle will be to trust yourself and your instincts and keep moving forward. This isn't generally the meaning of this card, but that's what I'm getting intuitively. Your past influences is represented by the Queen of Wands. Leo just had this card in the same position. I feel like the fire signs are standing in their power and on fire at the moment. This energy is bold, charismatic, going after what you want, inspired, being a leader and a light for others. I just feel like you are, um, um, I just feel like you are magic and a real gift to others. You have probably been through a lot to get to this place in your life, but it has definitely been worth it. You know who you are now better than ever before. Your future influence is represented by the Page of Cups in reverse. This card is a reminder to play, laugh and dream a little more. Don't get caught up in the seriousness of life and the day-to-day. -day. There are moments in life where we feel like we are floating. I feel like you need to notice, cherish and nourish those moments. Overall, Sag, you've got your eye on the prize and you won't stop until you get there. Remember, it's not the amount of breaths we take that matter. It's the moments that take our breath away we need to focus on.